Well, everyone, Dalt Hughes again. And today I'm in Washington Courthouse, Ohio, over here at the Indiana and Ohio Railroad. We've got a railroad diamond right here. And they've got a killing target right there, which is very rare. See that right there? It's lined up for this main track going next to me and away from me and lined against the track that crosses it. It goes across this way. So a train just went through here and I filmed that um, tilting target being switched from horizontal to vertical and the train going by, local. They got a bunch of customers work. So let's see what happens. Go ahead and start the video, son. This is pretty interesting. Here we go. All right, here we go, here comes the train. Looks like they're pulling up the switch here. Got to line it for the other track. see because of the trees yeah he's switching the track there's the railroad diamond right there There you go, the tilting target. That's how that works. Shooting in 4K today. Cool, check that out.
pretty long train. They got a lot of customers to work on this spur. There they go. Got a bunch of customers to work. That's a good sized train too. Zoomed in six times with 4K at 30 frames per second. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. That was pretty cool. At the Railroad Diamond in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. And there's your tilting target right there. Very unusual. That's pretty neat. But wait, there's more. All right, so the crew is switching on the Washington Courthouse spur right now. And they're operating on 161.430. So while they're over there, Check this out. Actually, I won't be filming any more of them. I just wanted to show that tilting target. Look at this old steam locomotive. Downtown Washington Courthouse, Ohio. And there's a plaque right here. Let's have a look at that. Just click on that and read it at your leisure. Click now. Let's check the other side. There you go. Click now. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. The tilling target is very rare. And they used to have one in North Burn, Indiana. Because I filmed it in operation, but it's gone. CSX took it out and replaced it about a year or so ago. Let's see the other side of this before we get out of here. There's the other side of the steam locomotive. Can't see it because of the fence, but there's a caboose in there too. Look at that caboose. 
pretty sweet. Beano. Beano Railroad used to go through here and so did the Pennsylvania Railroad through Washington Courthouse. I know operates the line now. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Got the slideshow coming up and we got the live action pets. So we'll see you later. Oh, wait, there's more. There was it is. Hey, you got something else I want to show you. I stopped over at Circleville, Ohio, and I found a cast iron whistle post. This is an old whistle post. This is an old one. Show me where you can find a cast iron whistle post still in use. That's pretty cool. So the um, train is supposed to blow the air horn when they see that. This dates back to the steam days. They blow it for a crossing. The crossing is right down there. Two longs, a short, and a long. And we got a train coming through here too. We're gonna have an intermodal train coming from that direction right there. So we're not done yet. Here we go. That's a sharp curve right there too.
There's not a single railroad car anywhere at that grain mill. That place is gigantic too. Sometimes you'll see over a hundred cars over there. And they got a couple track mobiles too. You gotta see my videos of those. All right, there you go. That was a good train. It had a DPU and everything on it. That was a long one. Wow. Huge intermodal DPU. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. That was a pretty cool train. Hey, don't forget to check out all my videos, too, if you got time. Check out some of my steam trains or my street running trains. All right, thanks for watching. But wait, there's more noises. All right, here we go. Got a little local coming through. This is going to be a small one. Only got maybe three boxcars at that. <laughs> Well, no, that wasn't much. All right, there you go. That was a little one there. A little better than nothing, you know, better than nothing. Here's where the Midland Depot used to stand. Look at that. It burnt down January the 1st, 2024 somewhere around 3 a.m. or so right here at the Y of the uh, the INO Midland sub goes that way towards Washington Courthouse and Columbus and then this line here is the Greenfield sub it goes all the way out to Greenfield and there's where the train station used to be gone now Somebody burn it down. That's a shame. There's Midland Yard. Four tracks. Not a very big yard. Go down there putting some new switches in right now. This is where the train station was. This little tiny area right here. Hard to believe it's here. I think I'll get me a brick and head home. Bricks laying all over the place. Here's the bricks. I don't know what you're doing with them. Let's find a good one. Athens Block. That was a good one there. Let's see what else we got. Just had a little bit of black on it. Got that one. That's kind of chipped up. Let's see, here's some good ones. Kind of chipped up. They just kind of winged them over here. Wow, look at all these. Somebody should be able to use these for something. Let's see this one. Is that really good? Huh? Where's a good one? This one? Uh, that one? Yep. Yeah. All right, that one on there will do. Wish a train would come. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you have time, check out another one. I got some playlists down there below. Check out my street running trains or my steam running trains. And we'll see you later.
Pets. Live action pets at it again. Who was playing? Tug of war. That stuffed animal is going to get torn up, I think. <laughs> Ooh, live action. Wow, this is a good one. Got it going. <laughs> 